Thank you, Mr. Walsh, for coming along and representing your company and also your personal views. Always welcome. I'm always disappointed, I will add, that we never get to hear the other side of the uh, agenda. We only ever hear from the Remain campaign, but that's the way that this committee works. You gave us a very, very good walkthrough as to the history of why the UK is at. Um, but I'd like you to please uh, respond to the following points, because you didn't include them. Uh, one, that the French blocked the UK from joining the European Union as far back as the 1950s, and that could have well had an impact on UK, uh, should we say, willingness to be a, a European Union or a European community member. Uh, equally, uh, we had Viviane Reading during the referendum actually address the UK Parliament and state United States of Europe, and that actually featured very highly in the UK media. Uh, and could you comment whether you think that didn't or did not help uh, the Leave campaign? Uh, the third point is a straightforward question, really. You referred to 1974, and I don't understand that, because 1973 was a referendum that allowed the UK to join, in 1975, we had a referendum to actually decide whether we continue to support. So where does 1974 come from? And then the final one, if you don't mind, in terms of the history, we had a succession of UK prime ministers promise referendums. None of them actually delivered. To his credit, David Cameron did. Now, I don't necessarily support David Cameron uh, at the best of times, but he did at least have the courage to deliver one. Can you comment whether you think, had those referendum pledges been <coughs> delivered previously, whether in your personal view uh, the referendum outcome might have been different to that that happened in 2016? Thank you.